on this episode of K-Pop. Things we see only in Korea. What happened to Oink on Facebook? Some of the strange things we see, we like, and we don't like. All on this episode of K-Pod. We record our podcast in downtown Changwon City, South Korea, at the only Irish bar in town, O'Brien's Irish Bar and Restaurant. They are located in Juangdong, right across from the International Hotel on the third floor. If you're in the area, be sure to stop by and check them out for some great food, drinks, and one of the best atmospheres in the area. O'Brien's Irish Bar and Restaurant, Changwon City. It's K-Pod. Life in Korea with your hosts, Scott, Adam, Marco, and Paul. Paul, Paul, Paul. It's another episode of K-Pod, Life in Korea, the podcast that brings you some of the live stories and more of people living and working right here in South Korea. Once again, I'm one of the hosts, Scott. Joining me to my right is Adam. Adam, how's it going? I'm great, thanks. And to my left is Marco. Marco, how's things? Pretty good, thank you. And sitting across from me is Paul. Paul, how's it going? I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. So in this episode, we're going to talk about some of the strange things we've seen in Korea. We're going to talk a little bit about the Oink Facebook group that got shut down recently and some of the strange things that we love here in Korea and possibly things that we like here that might not work back in our own countries. So we're going to start off with some strange things that we've all seen, say whether it was when we first came to Korea or any time between then and now. So what are some of the really strange things that you've seen, Paul? I would say, speaking from my experience of being here since 2003, off and on, one of the things that has massively changed, which is a good thing, is the Ajishi that sleeps on the pavement with his suit on because he's been drinking soju and then he can't go home and he's just like passed out on the pavement. Yeah, I was going to mention that too. You never see that anymore, ever. Yeah, that's, that's true. Right? And that's a good thing, you know? And it's not because the price of soju changed. Mm. It might be... It might be because the percent has changed or something like that, but I don't know. So, like, drunk people passed out in the morning. Just in, like, like straight-up businessman suit yeah, on, yeah. Like, like, shirt, tie. Sometimes you see, like, two dress pants kind of poking out of a bush, right? <laughs> right, right, yeah, yeah. That's, that still might go on in bigger cities mm-hmm. a little bit. I'm sure in Seoul there might be some areas where you get that, but I haven't seen that all either. In a long time. No, a long time, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. That's special voice. Yeah, for sure. And Adam, Uh, anything you've seen? Well, I was actually going to mention that. I I made some notes earlier, but uh, the first thing on my list was certain foods. So, like, um, you got your bundegi, which is a silkworm larva. You got uh, sangnakji, which is like a live baby octopus. And now, one of the things you don't see as much as you used to in the past was boshintang, which was dog soup. So, a lot of food-related things. Food-related things. Food. Those are really strange. The funny thing about the bush and tang, right? Mm. Is I've, I've had it twice. Now I love dogs. Yeah, right? I love dogs. Like that. Like like I've had several dogs as pets. But I've been for Bushington twice. One time was with a guy you'll meet later. Who it was just one of those like uh, cultural things, right? And the second time was I was fighting for this gym doing kickboxing or whatever. And the guy was like, "Oh, you need you need some power before the next match," you know. Mm. And he took me he took me for lunch. And we were sitting eating lunch with his, his his mate, his friend, you know. And we're eating and. The guy's like, oh, what are you eating? And I'm like, well, I'm eating meat soup. And he's like, no, you're not. You're eating dog. And I was like, all right, that's fine. Didn't bother you. Yeah, no, it did not. Did it bother you? It didn't bother me because it, it, if, it, in this country, that dog is cattle mm-hmm. to be eaten. Yeah. It's different. It's not a pet. Yeah. It's not a pet. Like, it's, 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 sorry, pig is a terrible example. It's not like a puppy or something like mm-hmm. that. It's a, a cattle to be eaten in this country. And that's fine. That's, well, I didn't get it kind of, I didn't get it as a surprise. I actually went out to try it because somebody had recommended it to me. And I thought right. of it that way. I didn't think of it as like a, domestic uh, pet so yeah but I haven't had it in years but I would try it I mean 
It's pretty I would, good. I would like. I would like to try it. I know a lot of people think that's weird. It's a nice hearty meal. You know, it's I, not bad. I always said if the zombie apocalypse meat, happened, my dog right? was the first thing to go. Yeah, <laughs> it's meat, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine with eating anything. It's just a matter of how they kill whatever the animal is. Doesn't matter if it's a cow or a yeah. dog. Although, yeah, I that know. Is true. Uh, I know that when I first, you know, my first year or two here, I saw some old men killing a dog under a bridge to eat and it wasn't it wasn't pretty no yeah and I, just, I heard they tend to rise with, like they beat that's it. the traditional yeah. way yeah. of preparing it yeah meat. no regardless uh, of the animal like yeah but if it's uh like you said a farmed animal and they're but even on a lot of those farms their living conditions are not yeah, very yeah, yeah. good i think that goes for most animals though i mean ant- like pigs aren't treated well cattle isn't really treated well so not, not at all not unless you buy it specifically like grain fed yeah. you know oh, yeah, like roam it's, free it's Animals, yeah, like, you know what I mean. Like, but then you have to pay yeah, yeah, yeah. out the ass for that kind of meat. And Marco, anything you've seen strange? Yeah, nothing that I would really call strange, just things that are not as they would be in the United States. One thing I really love is that I can sit outside of 7-Eleven and drink. This is where I come from. You cannot drink in public places. Even if you have like a, a red Solo cup or something, if you walk into a corner store, a lot of them will ask to smell it. Make sure you're not bringing in alcohol or something. Wow. Yeah, right? So like it's... And I mean, I you know, like I'm not one to get sometimes... But most of the time I drink, I just chill. I don't get wasted and belligerent. And I like that I can just sit outside and watch people. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, that was one of the things for me, too. Especially compared to Canada, you can't drink in public. And in Canada, you can't even buy, like, booze at a corner store. Really? Yeah. You have to buy beer at a beer store. You have to buy Designated a beer shops, at a liquor yeah. store. And they're all closed by, what, 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock, yeah. And That's they're crazy. usually... So if you run out, you're not, fucked. Not near your house or anything like that either, you know what I mean? So... For me, it was strange just being, you know, go to the corner store, grab a beer, like you said, sit outside. Food was strange for me too. But also uh, a big thing for me was, uh, I think I mentioned this in an earlier podcast, it was just looking up like so many businesses being on multiple floors. I'm not, in Canada, I wasn't used to looking up and saying, oh, there's a bar up there or there's a pool hall, you know, yeah. four floors, looking at signs. So many signs, right? You know, yeah. I'm, I'm used to ground level looking straight ahead I thing. still forget to look up if I'm like trying to find somewhere new to eat or something it's like every you know you just assume it's like a hotel First or a, an office yeah. yeah right but there are a lot of strange things here in Korea and uh, one of the Facebook groups that was called Oink which obviously stands for only in Korea uh, I heard recently it was shut down. Mm-hmm. Facebook closed the group about a week ago. I recently checked and saw it looks like it's back up, but Shit. all the all the members are gone. So maybe you have to join again if you want to. They had like twenty five, thirty thousand members. Really, it was popular. Yeah, and now it's see, gone I'm, down. I, see, the thing is, I'm a foreigner here. I have no idea what you're talking about with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Link, okay, yeah. right. What, that what was what I, I was going to ask. Do you guys know? What Only in Korea, I yeah. imagine. Yeah. Right? I had, What's the deal with that? I had vaguely heard of it. Uh, it's pretty much things that you would only find in Korea. And okay. a lot of it's just little... It used to be funny things, you know, like pictures of like one, one of the guys hanging from a rope painting an apartment building. At least you said that, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just uh, one guy hanging from a rope. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hanging from a swing, basically, I should have said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not hanging himself or nothing like that. <laughs> Safety pretty morbid. measures, et cetera, and that sort of stuff, right? <laughs> but it did, yeah, yeah, it yeah. did <laughs> get to the point where maybe you would see a photo of a guy hanging himself from apartment building. I mean, maybe mm-hmm. that's one of the reasons it got shut down. Yeah. But it used to be a lot of funny images or even like the t-shirt, you know, all the t-shirt yeah. images you would oh, see. Yeah, yeah, like a, that. Korea has some that's awesome that. t-shirts. Because one of the funniest t-shirt pictures I've ever seen, and I won't mention the teacher that showed me this t-shirt and I'm sorry if it has to give a little bit peach. Not this go a little bit over? Say whatever you want. Go for it, man. The kid in a camp 
had a t-shirt on and he was about 12 and the t-shirt said too drunk to fuck yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> on, yeah. The t- on the t-shirt yeah like that's, in uh... giant lettering you know what I mean like I mean like you just hey do the parents know this or yeah I saw like, one I saw one like, where a girl was wearing a sweater that said make the make the woman come for once like come as in <laughs> c-u-m <laughs> Like, and, and these were students. Yeah, these are students. And I was like, oh, yeah, oh my God, do you know what that means? The worst thing I've ever students. seen is like, bitch, please, or something like no, when that. When I saw the like, come one, I was like, I was like, God damn, that's like really like punk rock and like feminist, you know? Like, I like this, you know? I yeah. like this shit. Well, the, <laughs> too, too drunk to fuck. Yeah, the, that's cool too. The, yeah. Dude, <laughs> come on. The too drunk to fuck t shirt. <laughs> they were uh, kind of popular. In the mid two thousands, it's actually uh, there's a bit more, more popular. Like, it's a, what's the deal with that? Uh, <laughs> like, it's a, there's this a, is a line of t shirts. Ah, uh, yeah, you could buy them in Canada. You could buy them in the states. <laughs> really? It's a uh, it's a band t shirt. Oh, it's, okay. it's a famous yeah. punk band. Oh. And that, that was the name of their album. Oh. That makes a lot of sense. One of their hit songs was Too Drunk to Fuck. I've seen a lot of like Raising Hell from like Run DMC, so I, it, that makes a lot yeah, more sense. Yeah, make more sense. <laughs> they were called the Dead Kennedys, <laughs> but still, so, still though. I had, a, I had a kid that was a, a student around 12, and he was one of the students that was just a pain in the ass kind of thing, you know, always. And every day he wore this T-shirt in the summer, no sleeves, and it just said, every day is shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it had these, it had these stars and rainbows on it. And stars and rainbows. I, every, every, I had to sit there and he's always ca- ca- you know, causing trouble in class. And I just had to s- sit there and look at him and then look at that T-shirt almost, you know. Mm-hmm. Every day five days, is well, shit. Five day, yeah. Every day is shit. Uh, well. Teach them early, I guess. So that was the kind of stuff you would find on Oink. And uh, Facebook uh, apparently just shut down the group. I know, think it was 30, like 30,000. Well, it was like suspended, fans. right? Why? Or? Why? The, uh, it was changing. It, to me, I joined that group a long time ago and I kind of enjoyed it, but I got off. I didn't get off like it went the wrong myself way. or nothing. That's what you're saying. It was like it was nothing, fun s- nothing sexual. Went. I didn't get <laughs> off that way. It was. Uh, I could see it becoming it's like a racist comment and things so. like that. Well, I could see, like, like, like I think, I think, I think it, for me, it was turning into I hate Korea. Yeah, I think that's, uh, what, I think people that's people what Scott's getting to. Is like it started off with this, with like lighthearted fun, kind of like, oh, look at this, it's quirky, and then some people took it like like a dark turn with it, and they started being racist or ethnocentric, being like, oh, you know, this is stupid, like these people are backwards. And I think Facebook must have looked at that and just said, you know, we need to clean this up a bit, you know? Right. Yeah. Apparently. Facebook shut it down because of racial whatever you want to call it uh, racial f- racist yeah. issues but I did check today and it seems like it's back up yeah I did too the same same logo same sign but just like four or five thousand members so maybe you just have to join again maybe the guy who started it just decided to restart a new one because mm-hmm. uh, the last I read an article on it they uh, shut it down and didn't reply to the guy or say why or you know any kind you know feedback on whether they would start it again or not but uh do you think facebook should have the right to shut down groups in general like if they're co- obviously obviously yeah. they, they have can a, do whatever they're they supposed want, to be yeah, private it's, right like it's a private company yeah no yeah, i mean i mean groups are groups. supposed to be private. Oh, okay. well not all but groups are time, private you somewhere you can't like like imagine if you had like a group that was like like a terrorist group or something like you've mm. got to like shut that down yeah but then like if report. they're hating, if they're that, that means they're watching everything, obviously. Well, they well are. yeah. Well, come on, everybody. I mean, everybody knows that. Yeah, I was like, that's not news. No, yeah. no, I'm not saying it is, but I don't know. I think they should be able to. I'm, I mean, I'm saying if if I joined a group that was like a, a group that's like I only like shaved <laughs> heads, beaver, uh, <laughs> shaved, shaved heads, <laughs> rabbit's feet. <laughs> so I, I only like shaved heads and let's say the rest of the world were against shaved heads mm-hmm. other than the, f- the four or five thousand people that are in this group and we're not really doing anything bad mm. but because a lot of people don't like it should it be shut down i feel like that's a not, different not, circumstance yeah because like 
these people are promoting shaved heads. They like shaved heads. It's good. They aren't actively hating on it. And I think that Facebook as a company, if they don't want to perpetuate hate speech, they shouldn't have to. Yeah. So big companies. And if I mean, again, like you all said a second ago, everybody's in the public eye. But uh, do you think it should be on the, like the moderators of the group? Should they have been deleting all these negative Well, I'm bad thinking comments? they probably restarted it and informed no, the moderators who? like you have to crack down more on hate really speech. I'm sure that it should just be based on law. <laughs> I can say right, but if it's legal, it's fine. If it's not, it's not. And but think there's moderators there's have a lot some of assholes out there, right? That just, you know, will post comments that are stupid. Trolls, yeah. Trolls. Yeah, point, you know, should the moderators be like continuously, uh, that's not right, and just delete it? The group would be okay, probably. Uh, I the, think a, the essence of the group. There is some responsibility on the moderators, but when you start having thousands and thousands and some groups with millions of like people in the group, it becomes a lot more difficult to manage every comment that is made. Right. So Especially one person. Yeah. So anyway, I think the uh, group might be back up. You can check into it yourself if you want to join. They also have a Twitter and Instagram account. I yeah, think those I, went I, untouched. I, I, I know they I'm were. They were, they were the most popular, or it was the most popular Facebook group for foreigners mm. in Korea, apparently. But How have I never seen this before? Not surprising. <laughs> How often are you I mean, on I Facebook? knew of it, but I didn't really know much about the group until Scott kind of mentioned this to me. So it's Oink? That was uh, a bit odd. I saw it in the Korean Times anyway that Oink was shut down, but maybe it's back up. But there are a lot of strange things here for everybody. So what are... You know what, though? One actual funny thing that I've seen, like legality but about the internet is I had a buddy who put something up like, and it was negative in some way about Korea, but it wasn't like crazy. Mm. And he got deported because of that. Mm. Like, and I, I mean, was just like, whoa, Jesus, I can this, easily this believe was that. a long time ago. This yeah. is not now. I think, I think things have changed now. A little bit, yeah. Uh, I think you can say like it's a little bit more like Was it like a political issue? Now. What was it? It was something legal or something like that. And they were just like, get out. But I think now, like things have changed so much, like maybe Maybe it's uh, it's a different story. It's a different world that we live in now, too, though. I mean, for me, I don't give a shit about anything in terms of, you know, people bad-mouthing stuff. It's it's like TV for me, you know what I mean? If I turn on the TV and I'm watching something, I don't like it. Yeah. Turn it off. Change yeah. it. Turn it off. Yeah. Or, change, or change, yeah. It. Yeah. change it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, just, you, you change but the channel, right? We live in yeah, a day yeah, where, like, yeah, yeah. you turn something on and it's, you don't like it. Oh, this sucks, you know? I got to tell the people who made this, this is shit and just continually most people doing that have too much time on their hands though yeah yeah but there are a lot of things that i like in korea that are strange so let's talk a little bit about some of the things that we do like like a strange thing that i noticed when i first came to korea that i think is a brilliant idea are the little doorbell things on tables oh yeah those are great yes. Yes. those are great on the, on the tables yeah, yeah, yeah. so when you go to a restaurant or you know bar or whatever and you're ready to order or yeah. you need something, you just push a button. Ding dong, and yep. They come. To, we don't have that in Canada. They have, well, they have those in Japan, I think, as well. well I'm sure there are other countries that have them, but... Yeah. That's a strange thing that I love. Oh, it's so uh, convenient, I can't man. say lo yeah. love is a strong word. Say so probably... I love it. I, I think it's like, great. I actually do love it, too. I've never waited tables, but I feel like as a waiter, I'd probably like it because I don't have people calling me excuse me all the time. Yeah. Or like, snapping at oh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just yeah. like, hey, 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 like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the, like there's an etiquette, too. Mm -hmm. in, in Korea, that completely annihilates the etiquette. It's right. fine. Which is it's really just, like, weird. Just push a button. Because this is also the country where they're like, Chogyo, Chogyo, you know, like just yeah. calling people over. And that literally means here, you know, like, yeah. yeah. So, but, hey, and hey. like when uh, yeah. Tiffany, she used to say, oh, she could never bring herself to do that because she felt so rude. Right. But then they have this button thing that just. I went out for dinner with some uh, businessmen one night and they were saying, Ajuma <laughs> to, to the wait staff. And I was like, I was really embarrassed. I was like, wow, you're just going to say that like Ajuma. To get well, that's, lucky? The, that's the other thing, though, because you've got the A system so if you're like oh agashi and it's the right way it's fine yeah but then if you're like ajima and it's the right way it's fine mm. and if you get it wrong it's massively offensive yeah right? yeah, yeah. So it's insulting you just yeah. got a button and you just press it it's all good yeah 
Button button solves all that. Yeah, button button solves foreigners everything. were the reason for the implementation of this button. So is there <laughs> is there uh, anything else strange here that you really like? Adam? I like uh, I like getting free dishes sometimes because I'm a foreigner. You know that you're in a restaurant and sometimes they just give you some free food and they're like, oh, service, service, yeah. which means like it's free and it's because you're the only foreigner in the restaurant. You know, uh, that's that's a plus for sure. I've always loved that. Okay, and Marco. I mean, I already mentioned being able to drink outside that was so my favorite thing favorite cheap plus. option too man you save yeah, a lot of money doing yeah. that yeah soju travel very travel, affordable true. if you ever come to korea so uh there are a lot of things is there anything that you can think of that is strange here that's cool but would never fly back in canada or england or the states like i remember paul you mentioned quite a few times in the past like samgyeopsal or barbecue self-cooking restaurants yeah. oh, like thing on the table cook it yeah. yourself that, kind that, of thing that, yeah. it's really cool it's good but, but I think health but violations fly yeah. back you can home, do that right? in the states you can you do could. it yeah yeah I mean I've never been to a barbecue restaurant like where it's in the table mm-hmm. but a Korean restaurant that I used to go to back in Columbus they give you like the portable barbecue like grill that yeah, you yeah. have yeah. Well, that's the thing like I thought the same and then I was in London and you can actually do the like the straight on thing like it's a, it's in the table the grill well, bay. Yeah, they have them in Toronto. I'm yeah. sure they have yeah. them in the States. Yeah, I just... As long as there's no like open flame or coals, I think you're good. Okay. And you probably have to have like a disclaimer on the menu, like watch out for the grills or something because they do go under the tables and like I've definitely... Yeah, that or food poisoning. Like maybe like ask your server, is this okay to eat now kind of thing. I think that's what they're mainly looking like serving raw meat. Yeah. But, but there are dumb people out there that'll just there's a lot burn of idiots themselves out there, and yeah. try yeah. to sue. And this th- thing is, yeah. is like if you get your own meat that's raw you get your flames and you get your tongs it's your responsibility yeah right? yeah but i'm I sure think, i'm sure all the disclaimers it, it say that too yeah just be like now it's your deal yeah like if you don't cook it enough you get trichinosis <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. yeah what, what, I just think in America, most people would be too lazy to cook for themselves. Anyway, that's uh, all the time we got for this episode. So there are a lot of strange things. A lot of them are cool. It's not something I would worry about in terms of uh, if people coming here, you know, are worried about some bad things that they saw on the internet or anything like that. And Oink, only in Korea, the Facebook group page, seems like it's back up. So if you were a member of that and enjoyed it, check it out i'm sure you can join again love my friend this has been really fun oh yeah yeah a lot of fun yeah so if you have any comments or thoughts or if you'd like to comment about anything that you've noticed that is strange in korea strange strange in korea then i'll leave your comments below you can check us out on facebook or changwon or don't forget to like follow and share once again i'm scott you can get a hold of me at scott at changwonner.com and at Adam, Adam, where can people get a hold of you? Uh, I'm on Facebook, Adam Maxwell Kent, and Instagram, Ever Stalwart at uh, Instagram. I have no idea. And Paul, Paul, has no idea. Paul has no idea. Paul has no idea. Just send Robert him dick pics, though. At hotmail.com. Dick pics. 010 2634 1719. And also, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to look you up, Paul. I just... Instagram? What's, what's your Instagram name? I'm looking you up. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Instagram. Boom. Paul underscore Roberts, maybe? It's the first one. Is it like, how do you read? Oh, it is. It's Paul underscore Roberts one. On Instagram? That's Instagram. And Marco, where can people get a hold of you? Uh, you can find me on Facebook and on Instagram, Marco Baia, B, uh, B-A-I-L-L-E. Nobody reads it like that. I know, I know. It's... Bile. B- bile, bale. <laughs> I was going to say bale. Yeah. My students say belly. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> and then you can also you can also catch me on kpop.global. Damn. All right, so thanks for tuning in and we'll see you again next time. Peace out. Peace. Deuces. We record our podcast in downtown Changwon City, South Korea at the only Irish bar in town, O'Brien's Irish Bar and Restaurant. They are located in Jungangdong, right across from the International Hotel on the third floor. If you are in the area, be sure to stop by and check them out for some good food, drinks, and one of the best atmospheres in the area. O'Brien's Irish Bar and Restaurant, Changwon City.